The man known as the father of black retail in South Africa developed the Maponya Mall in Soweto. He received many awards in his lifetime and just last year he became the second person to win the Lifetime Achiever Award, which is the highest accolade in the 30-year-old Entrepreneur of the Year competition. The legendary businessman maintained an active interest in the economy and was recently reported to be planning to open an academy to train young people on how to be entrepreneurs. Well, news broke this morning that Ndate Richard Maponya had passed on. We now talk to the president of the Black Business Council, Sandile Zungu. Mr. Zungu, a very good morning to you. The business community must be shattered at this, new, at this news. Uh, thank you very much for having the Black Business Council on the show. Uh, we are indeed shattered, deeply shocked um, in actual fact. Um, when someone has lived to 99, you expect uh, people to readily accept that he's had fair share of innings. Indeed, he had, but um, he was healthy, he was walking unaided, he was talking eloquently, he was presentable, he was making an impression. So this is a person we wished could just live on and on and on. Um, and indeed, uh, we convey our deepest and heartfelt condolences to the family of Maponyo. A lot of people are going to be talking about legacy as uh, we look ahead to his burial. Uh, we asked our viewers today how they remembered him. And one of them, uh, Zendi Seal, saying, as someone from Dube in Soweto, I remember Dr. Maponya as the man that gave us our first trolley supermarket. The supermarket has since been bought by ShopRite. He gave us dignity through his entrepreneurial endeavors. A, a lot of conversation these days, especially in South Africa, about the development of entrepreneurship and how it impacts the lives of citizens. In your, in your opinion, what was Mr. Maponya's impact on South African society? You know, when I came up to Johannesburg uh, way back in 1992, um, I knew I was coming to the universe that was influenced by people like uh, Dr. Mohale um, Mahanyele, people like Dr. Uh, Richard Maponya, um, you know, uh, and, and these are the people who actually allowed us as young people to keep on dreaming um, and most important to actualize and live our dreams. Um, there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that um, you know, the legacy that he leaves on um, is sustainable. Uh, he introduced uh, his daughter, Chichi Mabus, and I'm sure other members of his family into his business. Uh, that will carry on that legacy. Uh, as young people, um, it's very important to appreciate that Maponya was not just about uh, the glamour and the glitz, a very presentable person. Um, for more than, what, uh, uh, six decades, uh, he has stayed in business, and which just, just shows that he appreciated business as a long game, and he's a person that will not be associated with any scandal whatsoever. Um, and therefore, the issue of values uh, underpinned his uh, role in business. Um, a lot of uh, integrity around him. Um, and um, we had to take that leaf and uh, hold it very firmly in our hands and march on. It's interesting that you talk about family. It has to be noted that the genesis of his entrepreneurial life was a business he started alongside his wife, Marina Maponya, uh, when they started a, a milk selling business in Soweto. This says a lot about some of the issues we're grappling with at the moment, uh, the incorporation and recognition of women as equals in business. It's very interesting you, you talk about uh, Mama Maponya Marina. Um, when I was in Atlanta just uh, a, a month ago, <coughs> I had the privilege of uh, dining um, with the, the, our dear sister there. And, um, you know, she, she basically talks with great eloquence and uh, she warms up um, when she uh, talks about uh, the influence that uh, Marina had. Um, on young people who are aspiring to be better, uh, who are in the township. There's no question about it that when you talk about uh, 
you know, Maponya, Horisha Maponya, you cannot complete that sentence with talk, without talking about uh, the influence of Marina in, 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 her, in his life. And the fact that she, she trusts um, his daughter, Chichi, as a person who can hold the fort. Uh, I'm not deciding uh, family matters, not at all. But uh, the fact that um, her daughter is so uh, frankly associated with her legacy, it just shows how much faith that um, Maponya had in women around him. And that's something that we, uh, the first one is to take notice of. Mr. Zungu, if under the crushing uh, circumstances of apartheid, Richard Maponya was able, alongside his wife, to start this huge empire of a business. What are the holdups for business people starting up in South Africa in 2020? Um, government and societies just seem, there seems to be a blockage somewhere. People are grappling with breaking through. Startups uh, die off in the first year of, of operations. Where is the, 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 what is the big problem? Well, the issue of uh, startups is not a, a uniquely South African phenomenon. It's a global phenomenon. Startups do die. Uh, just uh, like young crocodiles, uh, not all of them will make it to adult life, not even uh, to a week beyond their hatching. Um, it, it's a reality. In South Africa, what you uh, we are in, sh in short supply of are uh, entrepreneurs who are the, the dare the doers, uh, who are single-minded, who will say, no matter what obstacle comes our way, we shall march on. Um, that single-mindedness is something that was closely associated with uh, Maponya. He started, uh, they as a family started their business during the heydays of apartheid. Um, you know, they were not permitted to have certain licenses. He went to the lawyers, but he still marched on. Uh, I'm told that he held on to the land where he built Maponya more for more than 20 years ultimately finding a partner in Zenprof to develop that into Maponya Mall. Uh, so the, the idea of being single-minded, of being committed to your vision, of working hard, of choosing partners that will help you to grow, then those partners who will destroy you are some of the virtues that we can pick uh, from Maponya. Uh, there's no question about it that he was a hard-working person uh, who appreciated that... Uh, and um, integrity will sustain the gains. And um, he was um, very, he was one of the super wealthy uh, South Africans. Uh, he may not have been in the top 10 uh, of South Africa's richest people, but what is important is that uh, the wealth in the legacy that he leaves uh, puts him right there among um, the top, top, top most South Africans uh, who are associated with greatness. And that's what matters. Uh, that the young people need to pick from. That character trait that you just mentioned about being a hard worker, how do we impress that upon upcoming entrepreneurs in this uh, age of uh, uh, easy come, easy go? Well, Maponya is, is on record as saying for as long as he's in good health, uh, he will work until his creator invites him um, you know, to eternity. Um, and indeed, he worked uh, uh, till uh, his last day, as far as I know, um, basically because he had a, a, a vision that he was working not just for himself, but for Africa. Uh, Africa has a huge backlog. Uh, this luxury of I'm going to enjoy you know, retirement and just laze around be a nuisance to my grandchildren um, is something that you must basically throw out of the window. We have to work for posterity um, because Africa, Africa, if this is going to be an African century, then it means all hands on deck until our last breath is invited out of our bodies. Um, young people who just want to be like Maponyas need to appreciate that business is a long-term game. Uh, business is not uh, easy money. There's blood, sweat, and tears um, that you must see with your own eyes. Um, if you're going to be a success. And I think um, Maponya is a living example. I underline here living because his legacy lives on. 
and uh, how will the Black Business Council be uh, uh, remembering and honoring this uh, Black Business Giant and have you reached out to the family? I've said to my fellow national office bearers of the Black Business Council, uh, we have to pull all stops uh, for that Demagonia. Um, but we have to respect uh, that the family has invited all of our Africans to, to honor and respect the privacy. So we'll be guided by what the family uh, is, you know, desires in terms of how his life uh, needs to be celebrated. But we stand ready to play whatever role um, is given to us. When his uh, birthday was celebrated a month ago, I tweeted that this was a living legend and only a month later, it's a different story. But thank you so much for your time. The president of the Black Business Council, Sandy Lezung.